But guys, this is tutorial number 13 and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to use a multivariable function in MATLAB App Designer. So let's head over to MATLAB App Designer. So in tutorial number 11 I showed you how to create a symbol function. So we'll continue from where we left off at um, tutorial number 11. So if you haven't seen that tutorial, please go back and watch tutorial 11 and then you can see the code. Or you can simply just um, copy the code down from this particular um, video. Okay, so in tutorial 11, what we did was we created a function using the function option at the editor toolbar here. Um, so we created a um, private function, uh, but this can be public as well. So private function can only be ac accessed by this particular window or this particular class, whereas the public one can be accessed by different uh, windows, which we will talk about later on. So here you can see we have a function called plot graph and we have x defined from 0 in steps of 1 to 360 degrees and that's converted to radians and we plot y equals sine x and what we do is when we click on this particular button here it plots the graph so let's have a look plot and then it gives you the sine graph up to 360 now what we want to do is uh, we want to add something more extra so we want to say we let's say we want to plot the graph of sine m times x plus c so this means we can we have to add more variables to the function and to add more variables what you have to do is um, simply um, add in the variables that you would like to add so I'd like to add m and c so you'd like to um, so you want to put the variables in the inside the brackets here and then you have to define what this m and c are or where it goes so we'll say so we'll say we want to do sine m times x and then plus c so this is what we want to do we want to plot the sine mx plus c to do this what we have to do is we'll add two text boxes which will allow the user to um, input the value of M and C so they can play around with it. So we'll drag in a edit field which is numeric and we'll rename this to M and we will drag in another numeric field and we'll say this is C. Right. Let's arrange this a little more nicely. Okay, so the user can now enter the values in here and then it should change the graph. So to add the addition, you know we have a callback in the plot function, so we can right click and go back to the same callback. So in the callback, what we have right now, when the button is pushed, uh, it just plots the graph. But we added two more variables, which is M and C. So we have to add the same variables here as well. And we have to define where they're coming from. So we want to say, m is equal to the value which is inside this particular text box uh, sorry edit field and that edit field is called uh, app.m edit field we'll say we want app.m edit field dot value and then we'll say c equals app dot the value inside this text field uh, edit field so that is c edit field dot value so when we click on the plot button, it the MATLAB should read the values of M and C, which is in this text field, um, edit field, input by the user, and then it will feed it into the function, and then the function will do the rest of the job. So let's try and run this and see how it works. So if we click on plot now, we get zero because everything in here is zero. So if we change the value of m to five, or let's say one, we should get a normal sign graph. Let's change this to five now. So you can see the frequency has gone up. Now let's change c. Let's change that to five. So you can see how that changes as well. 
Now let's do, so let's say if we want to increase it to 50, let's see what happens. You can see the frequency has significantly increased. So you can see what C is doing. It's basically shifting the graph. Four, five, six. It's moving the graph essentially, and M is increasing the frequency. So this is how you use a multi um, variable function. And you can add more stuff to this. For example, you can do um, sine mx plus c. You know what? Let's just try it. So we'll do a graph of sine mx plus c plus cos x. Let's see what this gives us. So all you have to do is just simply change it in the function, and uh, the function should do the rest of the job. So if we just change this to 1, then this will essentially be sine x plus cos x. And you can see the result. Let's change that to 100. Let's just increase the frequency. And you can see how the graph is different. It's a combination of sine and cos. So that's the end of this tutorial, guys. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to import data from an Excel file. Um, to App Designer so we can use it in different ways uh, to present it in a graph or do different calculations with it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and stay tuned for more.